our first simplify example we're starting with a cotangent and a cosecant and the first thing we need to do is uh, rewrite these in terms of sines and cosines now if you forgot those I'm going to scroll back up here are the ones we're going to use right now I see that cotangent here sine over co or cosine over sine and tangent is sine over cosine secant and cosecant here as well so I have this on a, uh, a piece of paper that I'll be looking at, but I just want you to know where they all come from. So we got cotangent was cosine over sine. Now in that table, they were all written with thetas, but right here, our input is x, not theta. So we got cos x over sine x. That goes in place of tangent. Now for cosecant, that's one of the reciprocal functions, one over sine. All right, the way I remember cosecant is the, the other letter of C is S, so cosecant corresponds to one over sine, and secant corresponds to one over cosine, so the CS matches and the SC matches. All right, so how do we deal with multi-story fractions? We need to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So we have cos x over sine x times the reciprocal of 1 over sine which is sine x over 1 and right here oh look at that sine divided by sine cancel and we're left with cos x over 1 also known as cos x so that's all there is to this simplification right here so again you just write in terms of sines and cosines and then uh, get out of having a multi-story fraction. Other times you might be adding fractions, needing common denominators uh, or factoring and canceling. But right here, all we had to do was just rewrite the division and cancel out.